And good day to you. This is Ubuntu 23.10. I'm having a look at it in the virtual machine. I have mucked around with it. I've gotten rid of... This is my third iteration of this video. Could I get my sound right? No, I could not. So, yes, had to re-record. Re-record and try again. Re-record and try again. Yes, that's what I had to do. Re-record and try again. Now then, if you're in on here, if you're in a virtual machine, don't do the X11. It seems to crash on there, for me but that was after i got rid of snap d <laughs> yeah i got rid of snap d got rid of um firefox snaps got rid of that oh my god my microphone's shaking around here i do apologize hopefully i don't pick it up on there because i'm going through a fantastic machine called my dlz creator oh yes um yeah just going straight on into my focus right then out of my focus right into obs and it seems to be picking me up all righty from a distance from a distance Yes, it does. Pick me up. Okay, all right. Let's just sign in. Hello, how do we do? By the way, here we go. Yes, so make sure. Um, oh, well, let me log out a minute and I'll show you just in case there are people out there who don't believe me. Um, let me just log out. It crashes. Crashes for me, anyway. It crashes for me. You know, click on your name, wherever you signed in with. Uh, click on that. Um, make sure that's up on there. It's Wayland, but hey ho. It don't matter, does it? Right, uh, well, now for some online reason, I don't know if they got it fixed as of yet um i have got this i have i have got this up at full screen there we go i don't know if they have or not i don't know if they fixed it i don't know i uh i don't like ubuntu i like taking the piss out of ubuntu because it really is a piss taker's dream isn't it come on now really and yet people still install this crap really really come on oh my god you know the way that they're going uh, they're just following gnome everywhere no this is not the way to do things this is is not the way to do things at all. I don't think so. They should go and design their own environment altogether. Their own Linux environment. Or go to a better one. Go to one that's more snappier. You know? God. Just chucking this out. It's like it's like Microsoft to me. It really is because it's locked down. It's a locked down distro because it's GNOME. It's based on GNOME. So they keep it locked down as well. Come on, Canonical. Say bye-bye to GNOME and go elsewhere. Then again you could say well ubuntu isn't for tinkerers like myself no it isn't definitely not I when mean, things start to break and whatever yeah on paper looks really nice but why the hell wouldn't you have this show apps on over here instead let's have that over here i've got this in panel mode which is how it boots up anyway um so why not have that over here because I, I moved it down to the bottom like can but why can't i have that over here and what happens if i fill this all the way up along huh now, I got rid of the stupid trash thing that was on here. Not trash on there. Uh, I've also put Nemo in on this because I can. Uh, I've still got Nautilus installed because I'm thinking, well, if it's cracking up on me now, uh, what's it going to be like if I get rid of Nautilus? Uh, of course, yeah, it'll break the whole system, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm I'm sure of it. Now, whatever you do, oh, why are they stuck in here? I don't know. But uh, you've got this snap folder here, right? In your home folder. Why didn't they hide this away? You've got a firmware updater, SnapD whatever you do do not uninstall snapd desktop integration now obviously they don't come with synaptic package manager anymore out of the bag like they used to back in the good old days yeah see even looking back especially in the linux realm if you look back in the good old days like ubuntu lucid links 10.4 and even earlier than that it actually came with synaptic already in but no not today because not now they don't because they want you to to use snaps which is all fair and good in that but at the same time i don't trust them and the proof lately has been in the pudding what with the adware that was found and 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 that and um not very good security on them not very good security at all so you better you know just improve them i mean why are they so big you're better off going with an app image although app images can be quite big as well but at the same time they're safer because it's just one file that you're opening better i think you write your own script to open them up with but i do i've got two of them running Caden live and audacity the latest audacity as a app image because that's the only way that you can actually um download it unless you're wanting uh earlier earlier renditions of that program or versions i should say yeah so yeah i don't want this video to go on too long this is not a review it's just me taking the piss out of it okay uh yeah can't do a lot with it you cannot do a lot with it so i highly recommend people
people to come on over to Linux Mint if you're coming over to Linux for the first time. Or if you're used to your Windows system and you know a bit of programming and you want to learn a bit of programming, get to know some programming here in Linux and then maybe go on to Arch. Uh, you know, or go on to straight on to Debian. Or, just, or if you're a beginner, yeah, go on over to Debian 12. There you go. Uh, do not install this pile of crap. I'm sorry, Canonical, but it is a pile of crap. I was so used to it and how it used to be in the Gnome 2 days. But now you've just, I don't know, uh, you're just taking over with these snap packages and all this other crap. No, it's not for me, I'm afraid. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That is it for me. Bye for now.